Oh man, I hope there's a really sweet hat in there. Don't be stupid, Bruce. Your mama's stupid. Don't say that about my mama, Martha Plastic. What did you say? My mama, Martha Plastic. Hey, what's up everyone? Got my DC Legion of Collectors box in. This time the theme is Batman villains. And I gotta say, this box is huge. I compared it to my other Legion of Collectors boxes, and this is way bigger than those other ones. And I wanna say it's bigger than the Smuggler's Bounty and the Collector Core boxes as well. I avoided all the spoilers, but I did read a lot of the speculation leading up to the box. You know, it's always exciting to see what people want or expect to be in the box. Usually people hype themselves up too much and the box never lives up to the expectations, but what I would want the most, I think, is an updated Catwoman pop. If you watch my channel, you probably know that she's my favorite um, villainess of all time, and definitely my favorite Batman villain. Um, a lot of people are speculating that it could have been a six inch Bane, and with this box being this big, it could be a six inch pop in there, but I don't know, it doesn't feel heavy enough for that. The box doesn't feel that heavy. Or, I, or maybe I don't know my own strength. I don't know. Um, the box being this big, though, I'm kind of scared there might be a plush in there. I definitely, definitely do not want a plush. Um, if they made a shirt, you know, and I, I know they're probably not going to make it, but if it was me, I would design like an all green shirt with a big question mark on it and then the Riddler pop head as like the period underneath the question mark. I think that would be really cool. But yeah, besides that, I, I don't know what could be in here. But yeah, the box being this big... Maybe there's two pops. Um, I don't know, but there's usually two pops in the Star Wars boxes, and the boxes aren't these big. It feels like the two pops might be a little loose in there. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's not anything new. Like, I wasn't a fan of the Wonder Woman jet, really. I don't want anything like that. Um, and I know they haven't had, like, a real comic book version of the Scarecrow. So that could be a possibility. But yeah, <laughs> my ultimate would be, like, a Batman Returns Catwoman. Or like a New 52 Catwoman or an animated series Catwoman. Those are my favorite ones. Um, hopefully it's one of those. And if not, like an updated Riddler or a Penguin or maybe a Two-Face. Pretty much any of those guys. Like an updated version that's like actually affordable. You know, would be nice because, yeah, they're like way out of my price range. Um, yeah, enough talking. Let me get to it. Alright, so we're probably not going to get a Bane pop, or a Riddler pop, since they're represented right here. Something cool, something cool, something cool, something cool. What the fuck? Ah, oh, fucking hat. A mug. Oh yes, a Catwoman. And adorbs. Alright, let me open these up. The patch is pretty cool this time. It's Bane's, like, Mexican wrestler mask. In really cool colors. Silver, red, and black. Super clean, super nice. I like patches like this, like, that are more stylized. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. And the Riddler pin is really nice, too. Super clean. Really like kind of like that halfway silhouette. I like the font they use for the Riddler and the colors. Awesome pin. And the comic is a Riddler number one, so I guess a Riddler is represented twice in the box. I'm not a big fan of this guy's style when it comes to drawing the pops. I think he's done a couple covers now and definitely my least favorite ones. The guy that did the Doctor Strange though, that was awesome, man. That guy really, really elevated the pop style. This guy, eh, kind of washed out looking to me. Looks like that's the original cover there. Now that's nice, that's awesome. Batman chained up there. Yeah, there's definitely a nice art style in here. Yeah, I have to give this a read. Riddler's a pretty interesting character. Kind of like a cross between a burglar and kind of like the Joker. Pretty cool. I like these grounded kind of villains that I don't have a bunch of superpowers. They're just super clever. I don't know. That's why I like kind of Catwoman and Riddler and Joker are some of my favorite ones. Yeah, pretty cool. I have to give this a read. Got another hat in the same style pretty much. All they changed really was... They made this and this uh, purple. 
underside purple and they put the Joker head there. It says ha ha ha, kind of dumb. Don't really like that design either. I don't know. Um, yeah. I mean, they could have done so much cooler things. I know they have to make it, like, I guess pop-ish. But they've put t-shirts in there before that don't have, like, you know, they're not pop tees. They're just kind of like a regular shirt with the characters on them. This would have been way cooler with, like, the actual Joker card. You know, that stylized Joker card he has with, like, the stylized Jester face on it. That would have been awesome, man. And maybe, like, a Joker signature back here or something. I don't know. Maybe that, that could have been, like, on a white hat or a black hat or something. Or I don't know. Um, just, just not a fan of these at all. And this is pretty cool for the Dorps collectors. I mean, this is an awesome one. It's Two-Face. Looks like one of the original comic book designs for Two-Face. I like how the bright orange suit is supposed to be, like, his normal suit. And the pinstriped one is, like... His crazier, mangled face side. Probably should be the other way around there. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Packaging's nice. Design is nice for Dorb. Not my thing, but I'll probably keep this one. And I know a lot of you guys hate these mugs, but they're actually my second favorite item behind the pop. I don't look at them as collectibles. I actually take them out and use them because I do drink a lot of tea. And like, I like these big mugs, and I don't have trouble drinking out of them. A lot of people say that they can't drink out of these or that it dribbles. I just, I don't have that problem. I don't know. I don't know why, but I don't. Like, I like taking these out, filling them up with hot water, and putting like two or three bags of green tea in there, and just having a nice big ass mug of tea. And yeah, it's just kind of like the shirts where I don't look at the shirts as collectibles either. You know, I'm not going to pin them up on my wall or anything. I'm going to take them out. And I'm going to use them until they're not good anymore. You know, I'll probably use this thing until it breaks on me one day. And then I'll just toss it. The only thing that does suck about them is that they're not dishwasher safe. But I don't use them for soup or anything gross. I just uh, use them for tea and coffee. So you can just kind of rinse them out in the sink and they're fine. And they're done pretty nice. Like, I do like the way they're done. You can still see some of the brush strokes in the green. I really like that. It makes it look nice and hand-painted. I like how they did a little bit of purple down here. That was a nice touch. They didn't have to do that. They could have just left that white. Yeah, and the face is done really nice. And I actually kind of like those eyes. It looks like it looks like this guy's had way too much coffee. But yeah, this is a pretty cool mug. I like this one. Maybe one of my favorites. Okay, so I'm really happy it's a Catwoman. I'm not so happy that it's this Catwoman. It looks to be like the very, very first appearance of Catwoman. So she has that like green cape on that looks really weird. But I do like the shape of her little dress thing. Looks like she's ready for the club. And I like the ears. I like the head. The head is awesome. The body, not so much. Like, I'm happy it's a Catwoman, but then I'm also disappointed it's this one. It's almost like when I first saw it, I was like, oh shit, Catwoman, yes. But then... Not that I don't like this one, I just wish they would have done maybe a little bit more modern of a Catwoman, but it's still cool, you know. But yeah, I think I would have preferred like the straight up cat suit with goggles Catwoman or animated series or whatever. But I'm starting to realize that this box was maybe meant like as the classic villains, you know, just like the classic first appearance of these villains. And I do like that they gave her the classic pop body to go along with all these other DC heroes like the originals. So that's cool. But yeah, I'm not going to really take her out of the package. I'm just going to leave her in here. Um, I do like it, but it still leaves me wanting a better Catwoman. You are definitely getting a lot of bang for your buck with this box because the pops are like 15, the mugs are 10, dorbs are 10. That's already 35 bucks. I said it has 15, you know, you're already at 50 bucks right there. And a few bucks for the comic patch and pin. These boxes cost $33, so you're way above your value, especially if you loved all these items. Like, if you're going to wear the hat, display the door, display the pop, and use the mug, and read the book, pretty awesome box. I mean, you definitely got your money's worth, and that's really incredible. I would have preferred a shirt over that hat. Um, the door, I, I could give, you know, take it or leave it. Just not a big fan of dorbs. Comic book, eh. Patch and pin. They're nice, but eh. I really only like the pop and the mug, but I would pay 15 bucks for each one of those. 
even though that's not my favorite Catwoman in the world, it's still a Catwoman, and I would definitely bought that in store. Definitely. And the mug, probably too. So, I'm kind of happy with it. Um, personally, personally, I would give this box a 6 out of 10. But when I take into account all the value you're getting and imagining that I would like all these items, I'd give this box closer to a 9 out of 10. So, I'm just going to give it like an 8 out of 10. I think it could have been better if this would have been a pop instead of a door. It would have been one of the best boxes ever. Alright guys, thanks for watching and take it easy.